The Soviet Union removed an estimated 1 million books, thousands of coins and medals, and 55,000 paintings and sculptures from Nazi Germany after the Second World War. The issues complicated otherwise good relations between Russia and Germany in recent years. But on Tuesday, Russia's constitutional court struck down parts of a law hindering the return of the art. The ruling was a victory for President Boris Yeltsin, who'd like to negotiate with Germany on the sensitive issue and doesn't want to be bound by the restrictive law. Duma deputy Nikolai Gubenko said he wasn't happy with the present law because Russia's relationship with other countries had changed. Yeltsin, keen to forge closer ties with Germany, appealed against the law, and the court ruled that part of the law violates the Constitution. Russian presidential representative and constitutional lawyer Mikhail Mitrov said the legislation was very convincing and difficult to argue against. But the artwork can't be returned to Germany until a new law is signed. One problem is that the current law doesn't distinguish between art belonging to Nazi Germany and that belonging to victims of the Nazis. In its ruling, the court said Russia was not obliged to return so-called trophy art to governments of aggressor nations, making it unlikely any art will be returned.